Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, a serious subject, and that is when your SEO just isn't flowing at the same rate as you had originally anticipated at the outset of the campaign. When this happens, there are basically three ways to deal with the issue. First, you may need to recalibrate how quickly rankings or traffic should increase. It's especially important to understand that rankings take time and page one rankings precede new patients. So being sure to understand that until you're in the top three organically, you're not expected to get nearly as many phone calls as the top three. And probably no phone calls if you're at the top of page two, unless you have an extraordinarily high level of search volume for those keywords. So that's important to realize. The second thing you can look at is whether or not you're able to do more. By that I mean sometimes if the SEO company you're working with is saying that they could do more with a larger budget, consider the competition level of your area. And you should know this before entering into an SEO contract. Consider whether or not the competition level you're in might justify a lift in that budget. Third, consider whether the SEO company has an explanation or strategy moving forward on how to deal with the unexpected resistance. Psychologists have said that the urge to quit is greatest right before a breakthrough. Hopefully this situation doesn't ever plague you, but if it does, you should know that it's not uncommon and you should look for expert advice on how to deal with it. I'd be happy to help you identify any dangerous or ineffective tactics when performing a comprehensive SEO analysis of your website. Please subscribe for more updates on dental SEO issues that might affect how searchable your website is.